It's about 7.30 a.m. I just walked past the room and saw this. Stella was actually scratching on the ramp. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Now last night while I was sleeping, I heard noise and I wasn't sure what it was. And I thought it might have been Splash and Simba scratching on this, but I don't know. Like I was so tired that I had really did not know what I was hearing. And um, I was too tired to wake up. It was like, you know, when you're half asleep, half awake. So looks like the cats are enjoying this already. Look at what's going on here. These two were up very late last night. I don't know what they were doing in the middle of the night. They were making a lot of noise. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Splash. Good morning. You stay there. You stay there, you're not eating yet. It's 9.45 a.m. and there's Splash and he just used this scratchy ramp. Good job, Splash. I heard the noise and I was like, that sounds like maybe it's the ramp and it was the ramp. I think it's the noise I heard in the middle of the night too, so Splash has been using it, yay. It's about 2 p.m. right now and I just gave the cats a little snack. This is a trial size bag of natural balance chicken and brown rice formula. This is actually dry dog food and I got this as a sample at a local pet store uh, that occasionally gives out samples by the register and I picked it up and I looked at it and I realized, you know, wait a minute, these are the same ingredients that you find in cat treats and um, you know, I'm talking like a typical supermarket variety cat treats, um, something even like uh, temptations. Actually, this has better ingredients uh, than some of the uh, typical supermarket variety cat treats. Uh, it's chicken, chicken meal, brown rice, brewer's rice, rice bran, chicken fat, uh, dried tomato pumice, brewer's, brewer's dried yeast, natural flavor, flaxseed, salt, taurine, Manhattan fish oil, and then it goes into all kinds of vitamin and mineral supplements. So the only thing that's different um, with these is it has some brown rice, brewer's rice, rice bran, um, and it has some um, grain ingredients in it, but so do a lot of the dry cat foods. If we look at the really cheap dry cat foods, they're full of uh, corn, wheat, and soy. So these are actually uh, better uh, ingredients than the typical really cheap dried cat foods. So when I got these, I said, let me give some to the cats and see if they like it. The cats love these, absolutely love them. And what I think is really cute with these, so these are a bit bigger than typical uh, cat food, than like typical crunchies. Boom. Wait until I'm done. You just bit my finger. It's a good thing he doesn't have all his teeth because that really kind of hurt. Um, so these are actually like the size of little cookies for cats. Um, they're they're bigger than crunchies. They they almost look like little vanilla wafers for cats. But as you can see, the cats really like them. Right now, I'm going to give two each to each of the cats just so you can see that the cats like them. The cats already had a few. So I just wanted to mention this and point this out. While it's not smart to feed cats dog food uh, or dog treats or anything like that, uh, always look at the ingredients because there is some, a small percentage of dog food or dog treats that have the same exact ingredients that they put in cat food or cat treats and um, cats love them and 
they're just as healthy in many ways. Again, this is not something that I'm gonna feed the cats all day, every day. This is an occasional treat for them. There you go, boo. That was fast, boo. There you go, Stella. I don't think the cats even chew these. I think she swallowed the whole thing. Okay, now she's chewing it. There you go, Simba. Simba wants to be farther away from Boo. Well, he likes them too. These are splashes. He's being very camera shy right now. I just raised the height on this scratcher. It was in the second um, little segment here, and I just made it into, and I just moved it over to the third one, so it's a little bit higher. It's quite a bit higher, actually. Let's see if, let's see if I get to get Stella back onto it.
I think it's about 8.30 a.m. right now, and this is what's going on right now. So, Stella bit Simba on the butt, and I don't know if you just heard him meow from it, but Boo did not like that. So, Boo went to take revenge on Stella for doing that to Simba. So, I think Boo and Simba are becoming buddies. And Simba's taking refuge by the scratch and rolls in the arch where Boo was just hanging out. You okay, Boo? You okay, Boo? Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.